Dude, this is fucking crazy. Bro. What the fuck is this? This is gonna kill me. How do I heal? I think we're fucked. That heals. Now I just need to hit a Kale Thos. Oh, we did! It's two. Wait, can I do it? I think I can do it. My past cannot change me for it. Guys, we might not die. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Never give up. Always believe. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Draco Cat Demon Hunter YouTube video. This one is going to be very special as it is the first Demon Hunter deck that we've had in a long time that has hit rank one legend. This deck was piloted by Levick, the Grandmaster, and it looks really similar to the Funky Monkey list. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, there'll be a video coming out on that list in a few days from now as well. But as we look at it right here, it's got a lot of the token cards, uh, including, um, but not limited to, the Kael'thas, the Brand, the Denathrius, we got the Top of the Idol for the AoE, and then we both, we bring the Blademaster Okani in the deck as well, along with Theatar, which were generally flexible cards in the 40 card list, but Levick managed to put all of those flexible cards in a very amazing and versatile feeling Relic Demon Hunter deck. So I, I started playing and I won uh, one, two, lost one and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 games in a row with this deck right after I started piloting it. So I might say that this is the best Demon Hunter deck in the game and it might be one of the best decks in the game itself. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the, uh, the games will be right here and, uh, thanks again for tuning in the video. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks again for tuning in to another Draco Cat video. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Arana Druid. I think I like the Druid matchup now. The forest fights back. I alone will shield my people. Okay. So definitely don't keep top of the idol, and this is a question, right? Sometimes I would keep this if I had a vault, but I don't. So I think that allows me to get rid of it. Pretty good. One, two, three, four. Although I don't know if I'm going to play this on one, of course. Alright, looks like we got ramp drew, which is probably going to be a little bit more chill. Okay, so for this turn, I think we're just going to hero power. Play this on two. We could coin this. Uh, but we don't really have a follow-up turn two play other than just like jamming an extinction. So I think I'm just going to hero power. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Ooh, now I kind of wish I coined it. I could play Volt. I think we might... Yeah, so getting this on the board now is pretty good, but then we don't want to just leave it uncontested. Yo, what's up, Tito? Yeah, we don't want to just leave the post uncontested if we play it, though. So it's like, if we consider the post, we have to play the Extinction in tandem. I mean, I'm just going to hit this right now. Although, it is better to get this down. I don't want to use the coin yet. We have plenty of other annoying things going on in our hand. I also don't want to like thin my hand out too much because I'm holding a Denathrius, which means I'm very weak to Theatar. Damn, you're a legend already? I, yeah, I, I hit legend while I was playing before I streamed. I just won like uh, like so many games in a row. It was like, I would I, I typically try to enjoy it on stream, but This was like before stream. So, <laughs> yeah, we hit legend.
It's the deck I'm playing right now. Yep. Offstream priest confirmed. Yo, dude, that was all Demon Hunter. What are you talking about, bro? Look at you not in the low 9k. I know, it's like, uh... It's like normal again. For me. This is, this is super weird. But don't worry, guys. There's plenty of time. <laughs> There's plenty of time for us to find ourselves in the bottom again from playing weird things. So I think I'd play this and hit, like... Spell? Because he used coin already, right? Oh, we have coin. Hmm. I mean, he did just use a lot of his cheap spells to hit that early Norish, right? What the heck? Did you play the dragon guy? 5-5? Five, five? What's up? What do you mean? The dragon guy. Oh, like the... Uh, yeah, oh, you're talking about Shrubby Gazer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually okay. He's like wasting a ton of mana right now. He And he didn't... We hit the Planet Evidence, which kind of wastes two mana, if you think about it. I mean, he's also getting like his shit kind of spiked here. Kurt, we got Kurt. This kind of interrupts the Miracle Growth. I put it over here, because he does have the Devour on a nine. So I could go like Extinction, Scorp it. I think that might be better than just jamming the coin on the Kurt right now. All right, let's take a look. What do I want here? What's... Flanking Maneuver is not bad. I have another one in my hand, though. Top of the Idol is interesting. I don't really think I need to be that defensive yet. I guess he does have probably Naga Giants coming at some point. This will be a good answer to that. But then again, I also have another Relic in my hand. Uh, it's probably Flanking Maneuver, huh? It's just the, the most flexible card for this matchup. We really need to find like our uh, like dimensions or something though, huh? It is super nice though that we're just taxing like every single card. It's really slowing him down. Flipper friends, because he gets six. Goes three into here, three into here. He drew another flipper friends that cost seven mana in hand now. This is so gross. I don't want top of the idol, dude. Not impressed. This is not a good draw. Oh, I, I I just I don't like doing this because it's like reactive, but I have a lot of reactive in my hand. I, I just really don't want him to have a uh, devourer right now, right? Because this plays directly into that. This is probably like a misplay if he has devourer actually. If he doesn't, it's fine. But like if he does, like I don't really have like a way to deal with it. All right, Nixie is fine. Still very annoying, but, you know, not the worst. I can... Okay. Dimensions. I ha I can live, I think, for a moment here. Okay. Not bad reductions for those. Ugh, those are kind of bad. <laughs> Shit. What does Abyssal Depths gives me? It gives me a Far Watch Post and Bran. I guess that kind of wins me the game in the end, right? Shit. It's hard to figure this out right now. I'm just trying to make sure I do this clean. Because I, I should be able to still win. As long as I cannot die to, like, the... To his shit in the in room. Because now all I need to do is play the Abyssal Daps. Then I'll have the Bran, which means I'll have the Kael'thas combo in, in hand, right? So we live, draw the Bran, and then we win, right? And we just have to kind of hope he doesn't... Okay, perfect. This is actually great. Is that it? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful.
clean. Super clean. That's how we do it, guys. Look at that setup. You know what's up, Deku? We could also like do the the really cheap scam, but I think we wouldn't come with a brand with it. We're at 11 right now, so it's still a lot. I might need to just like pop off now just to get all the damage in early to add the pressure onto him. Is that worth? I also have like I have a follow-up dimension, so like I don't have enough room to draw it in my hand though, right? Alright. The positioning correct here. Play around devour, right? Have you listened to Polivia's song? Yeah, I actually was just listening to it in the beginning of stream. I really like it. Like the K-pop song. I think it's K I think that's what the genre they mix it with. Maybe it's just like pop they mix it with, we could call it that, but I like it. <laughs> What's up, Deku? Good morning. It's a J-pop, thank you. That's actually true, right? Because she's Japanese. That makes sense. I should have known that. Feels odd to have a poly song with lyrics. I think they're entering their final form. Oh, yeah, we did the positioning right, guys. That should fucking win, right? Like, come on. That's so much stats. I, I don't think you wait for the Zymox to get infused in this situation, because we don't even want to draw more, because it'll fatigue me, right? Ooh. Ooh, I think that's still lethal. Yeah, still lethal. Not enough, bruh. Sorry. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. That is not the right video, huh? This is like a pretty good hand. <laughs> I don't know if I hold this. Probably I don't, right? I don't know, it's not too bad second, right? It doesn't fit into the curve I have set up here. This fits better, actually. Probably mine rogue, right? I saw it, you thanked someone who said, this is a great edit. I saw you were like, thank you.
So we definitely just do that just to ramp up the relics. Not for any other reason. It does put a little bit of pressure on him too in regards to development at this point. Because this isn't the null deck, which means they have to play mana to like get their things on board. Unless they hit the fucking... Oh, it's the coin? I was gonna say, unless they hit like the uh, the taunt dudes. Those are annoying. I have one flanking strike ready for one though. The problem is I don't have a flanking strike ready for two of them. I was so flattered. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not right now, but either way, I'm happy. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking crazy. Bro, what the fuck is this? How am I? Oh my god. Holy high roll. I can't tell either. Dude, he got a tw I don't I don't have like taunts, dude. Like what the fuck am I gonna do? This is gonna kill me. How do I heal? Out of range. I don't know. I think we're fucked. That heals. Now I just need to hit a Kale Thos. Oh, we did! It's two. Wait, can I do it? I think I can do it. Holy shit. Guys, never mind. We're lucky. Guys, we might not die. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Never give up. Always believe. 